Jack Layton of um, Loggerhead Marine Life Center. He's the president. And we're just talking today a little bit about what's going on at Loggerhead and um, all the Plastic Free Initiative here. And tell me a little bit about that. Well, welcome. And thank, thank you for you. being here. And thank you for being a longtime friend and supporter to the center. I love your art. That goes without saying. And it was funny because right before we kicked off filming, we I think we were connecting so uh, vigorously mm -hmm. on our, our... We're like, wait, let's film this. <laughs> yeah. Like a lot of people feel that way about dolphins mm -hmm. and manatees, there's just some sort of natural it's reaction. The it sparkle is sparkle in their eyes. Yeah, it's like, it's, they're like and when they try to paint, there's uh, like a personality. In they each are. One. Yeah. So people really have this connection to the animal. Oftentimes, our guests and our students feel emotionally uh, challenged when they hear or see an animal with a monofilament line constriction, or uh, one of our patients that's ingested plastics. We talk about that, and then what we have done over the course of time is we've developed a portfolio of opportunities that people can take in their daily lives, great and small, and then it allows them to sort of continue the learning and the lifestyle that we try to talk about here at Loggerhead. And I think that's you know, one of the things that all of our staff when we talk about working, or volunteers, we have 500 active volunteers who are our ambassadors to the community. 500. We talk about the fact that being a part of this organization is often not a job. This is a lifestyle. Definitely. And I think working here at Loggerhead and being a part of the Loggerhead community has given me so much more awareness of some of the new, different, innovative ways that you can go plastic free and really not have it impact your daily life. In fact, I, I think it, as we were talking about, sometimes the more you know about how to downsize all of your stuff, the better you can be at being efficient individually and then on behalf of the planet. Yeah, feeling the success in your own life, feeling the freedom of having, yeah. you know, so many of these extra things, these like, right. oh, I need to go, I'm having a party, I need to buy like, 50 plates and cups. all these cups and yeah. then throw them all away and watch right. them go out in the garbage and it's like I mean we did I had an um, art reception on Friday and actually it was hog snappers I said anybody want to donate cups for our event it'd be so great and yeah. here they are they have cups with hog snappers people right. are like where is this I'll tell you love it and That's now so we've great. decided I mean they were gonna donate it like sponsor my event but um, we talked about it and now you can rent them from hog snappers so if you're having an event even just like a family party and you really want people to understand how that works you can check them out right. like a book from hog well snappers, listen so. I'm I, a huge hog snapper fan sometimes in food service and in retail mm -hmm. it's it is more costly it's harder to to do the environmentally correct Definitely. thing, and, and we understand that. And what was amazing, I was there this weekend for brunch, and actually benefited Blue Water oh, Bay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and it was delicious. Mm -hmm. But it was so funny because um, a couple right next to us at the bar, we sat up at the bar, and they brought out uh, their cocktail, and it had the hay straw in it. Like, and, mm, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and yeah, and it was so funny because I was sitting right next to them. I didn't say anything. I was just listening to see what they, what didn't they were They recognize you? <laughs> no, 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 no. I had my baseball hat on. Yeah, there you go. And, uh, and so it was funny because the lady said, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And she said to her husband, she goes, you know, these straws are, are they're helping the turtles. Whether it's through incredible arts-based conversations where your artwork inspires someone to become more aware and learn mm -hmm. and appreciate the natural world, or whether it's through businesses yes. like Hog Snapper that take a leadership perspective. It was, it was a, a conversation that I had about now six months ago. It was um, with a leadership group in, in Palm Beach County. I was invited in very generously uh, for a lunch presentation, and this was 75 of Palm Beach County's uh, CEOs, so some of the most um, successful women and men in our in our county that are leading some incredible organizations and they called the turtle guy in to do a lunch mm -hmm. presentation so I was sort of confused I try to figure out how to connect with these individuals and all of these individuals and this particular group they're very 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 proud of Palm Beach County and the economic prosperity and the innovation and, and really the cool growth that we have going on here and so I thought I'd start out lunch with a topic of Palm Beach County's burgeoning 
an evolving food scene. And so I could tell when I was presenting and, you know, favorite restaurant, we were talking about, you know, raise your hand, or favorite restaurant, what's your, what's your favorite salad, what's your favorite? And so we started talking about salads, <laughs> right? So we, we got onto a to making mm -hmm. a tomato uh, mozzarella basil salad. Mm -hmm. Like, what are the ingredients? And I could tell, like, you know, these very, very, very smart people were looking at me like, where is this going? And what we did is we, we created in our minds and through conversation as a group how to put together the perfect tomato basil mozzarella salad. And then the last topping of the salad with this group, I just, I said, and then what do you, you know, what is the last ingredient that wakes up the tomato? And everyone said, oh, sea salt. And I said, I'm here today to, to tell you why protecting the ocean matters to every single one of us, regardless if we're in Delray Beach or Detroit or Des Moines. And that's because 90% of commercially available sea salt worldwide now test positive for microplastics. And that was a jump, and I then put the National Geographic Planet or Plastic Issue with a study that talks about this. I said, this is why advocating for the sea turtles and all of these micro changes, pun intended, yeah. have a profound impact. And maybe you don't understand the sea turtle thing, or maybe you don't understand why it's important to get kids and children and employees out to do a beach cleanup. But when you're having dinner with your family and you and your spouse and or your child is putting fresh sea salt on their meal, yeah. you can actually make the connection between what we do here at Loggerhead, the, the work that you do through your art to advocate for the natural world, how that profoundly impacts us. The sea turtle tells us the health of the ocean and the ocean tells us the health of our planet. And the reason why we say that is the sea turtle is the canary in the coal mine through its global migration pathways, through its different habitats. It's telling us the health of the ocean. And the ocean, a lot of people don't know this, they think plants are responsible for all of the oxygen created on, on Earth, and that's not true. The ocean creates, through photosynthesis, about 50% of the oxygen that Earth needs. So that means every other breath that we have taken in this room during this conversation so far came from the ocean. ocean and so that's really been helpful I think it's sad if I mean like you said they're telling the health of the ocean and every time you have one that comes in and if it's you know passed away and you open it up it's right. full of plastic that's like this is the health of the ocean 100% of our patients now come into the hospital with some form of plastic entanglement or ingestion we want to make sure everyone understands that well this isn't fun this is such an educational opportunity, and unfortunately, but very fortunately, the animals are serving as an educational ambassador. Like I said earlier, 100% of our washbacks or our blowbacks, these are little tiny hatchlings. Sometimes we'll have wind and wave action or storms that blows them back in. Mm -hmm. There's a percentage of the washbacks and blowbacks that are deceased. When we do the necropsy, are filled with plastic shards. Already. Already. I always want to focus on the silver lining yeah. through the arts, through conversations, through education, through partnerships with the business community. We are seeing probably the largest movement mm -hmm. for like the ocean trend. Yeah, nice. than we've ever seen. So I, I always want to encourage people to think about the silver lining and the solutions.